first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number one we are going to learn introduction about the topic caselets so caselet is a very very important topic in quantitative aptitude section most important topic when compared to all other topics why because if you are going for cat exam just refer all the previous year question paper from 2009 you can able to see minimum of three marks asked in the every exam that is only on the topic caselets minimum of three marks and if you are going for any banking sectors like SBA PO IBBS PO in recent year in 2017 and 2018 most of the bank exams you can able to see five marks as asked in the topic caselets and if you are going for any top campus interview I think a recent campus interview when you look at the recent uh, IBM or Infosys question you can able to see eight marks is asked only in the topic caselet so remember that caselet is most important topic in quantitative aptitude so according to my knowledge before learning caselet topic try to learn data interpretation first of all so first learn da right they used to data interpretation they used to shortly call it as da right so try to learn da topic first of all after learning da try to learn caselet so that it will be easy so why i am saying this caselet and da both the topics are more or less equal 80 percentage the concepts are equal so the difference between DA and case letters in data interpretation they used to give a chart right chart can be either in pie chart table chart or bar chart whatever be but they used to give a chart under that we will have five question so what you need to do is you need to refer the chart and you need to solve all the five questions so this is called as DA but when you look at this case led topic they used to give they won't give you any chart right they used to give it in a passage one or two passage and under that passage you will have five question so your target is you need to read the passage on your own you need to frame a table chart or otherwise a Venn diagram so after framing this table chart or Venn diagram you need to solve five question that is under this passage so this is the difference between caselet and DA simple is here they used to give a chart and under the chart you will have five questions so based upon the chart you need to solve it but here they won't give you any chart we need to frame a chart and we need to solve all the five questions but in this caselet topic we have only two chart one is table chart and second is a Venn diagram right so based upon the question either you can solve by using a table or otherwise Venn diagram so before solving this uh, caselet question you should know some of the basic stuff that is most important right how to find uh, ratios average then uh, percentage 25 percentage of 750 80 percentage of 900 so these are the basic stuffs right you should know all these only then you can able to solve this caselet topic and the last is basic DA formula this is most important right you should know some basic DA formula for example X is what percentage of Y X is what what percentage more or less than y so these are the basic formula that we learned in DAE topic right so you should know all these before solving a caselet question and uh, another important thing is by reading a question first you need to decide whether you should draw a table chart or otherwise a Venn diagram that is most important because only after reading 10 or 20 lines you might be knowing you should draw the set theory instead of this table chart so that's the problem of many student so let me discuss for which question you need to draw a table chart and for which question you need to draw this set theory diagram so now let me move on to this two important note in the topic caselet right so only if you know this concept clearly you can able to solve the caselet question so just now I have told you caselet question can be solved by two method one is by a table chart or otherwise by a Venn diagram method so remember that by reading a question itself you should decide whether we need to draw a table chart or otherwise a Venn diagram so that's the important area where most of the students will make a mistake instead of drawing a table chart some students used to draw a Venn diagram they won't get an answer correctly for some question they used to draw a Venn diagram instead of drawing a table chart they won't get an answer correctly so that's the reason where some of the even some expert might make a mistake here so remember that for which question you need to draw a table chart for which question you need to draw a Venn diagram is most most important in the topic caselet for example while reading a question if you find a word like this just assume that uh, there are uh, two person that is male and female right there are for example I'm saying there are 400 males and there are 500 females right and they are studying max physics chemistry subject right in a question if they are given a line like this 98 male students studying max what is the meaning of it 
out of this 400 students 98 students that is male students are studying max we can directly put 98 here in the table chart got it right similarly 50 students studying chemistry 50 females studying chemistry these are the direct statements right you can directly substitute the values here 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 so you can for those questions you can draw a table chart if the question is like 98 male students studying max and chemistry or max and physics listen here here 98 male students are studying only max so there is no issue if you draw a table chart for this case that is 98 male students studying max and physics both the subject for these types of question if you draw a table chart it will be so lengthy and finding a value is very very difficult for those cases better go with this set theory method for 98 students studying max and physics so this region is max and physics got it so this region total is 98 so remember that only if you solve 10 or 20 question you will know whether we need to draw a table chart or otherwise set theory so remember this is one of the important note in a passage if all the values are a direct statement then go for the table chart in case if there are telling 100 students are studying physics and chemistry both the subjects or otherwise uh, three male students are playing football cricket and hockey so in those cases better go with the set theory method right i think uh, first 10 question 10 sets of case led question that we are going to solve will be based on this table chart right and after 10th question that is 11 12 till 11 to 20 we will go with the venn diagram method so from tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will be start posting videos on this uh, case led question one by one so don't forget to watch all the video because very very interesting and all the questions are taken from a memory based exam so that's it introduction about the topic caselets so uh, thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like this share this to your friends so that your friends can also learn this so from tomorrow don't forget to watch all the sets of caselet question so thank you so much bye